guys in this video we are going to learn about state management what is state management state management is basically the management of your application data or your state of application so if you are working on a small scale application then stateful widget is okay you can use it but if you are working on a very big application uh, like uh, e-commerce type application or chat type application then you should need to use state management so for this you have to watch this video in order to be able to use state management in a very effective way so why we have to use state management this is the question that need to be asked before learning uh, state management so uh, if we are not using state management then for updating the state we have to call set state and the reason we don't have to use set state, set state in big application is because it is rebuilding the whole UI again and again so this is a very big threat toward the performance of application suppose you are working on uh, e-commerce application where there are thousands of product listed in the screen right and you have to update state for the one product so the remaining thousand product need to be updated as well because of set state so let me show you how it is working in the background i'm going to create a variable on the name build times it will store number of time the build method is called so initially uh, it contains zero and when this build method is called i will increment that variable right and then print i am build times right so if uh, if it is called one then it will be saying I am build one times right so you I will show you that why we don't have to use set state like I have explained in case of e-commerce application app is running I'm going to uh, you can see I have not clicked anything it is called one time I am build one time now I'm going to click on plus button it is saying two times three times four times so for every click the whole ui is uh, basically updating rebuilding again and again uh, hope you guys you have uh, example of e-commerce in your mind so this is the reason we don't have to use set state in big application now we are going towards the state management so state management is very effective way of handling your data in big applications uh, for that we have to use stateless widget instead of stateful widget so first of all i'm going to create a stateless widget called home screen and this is because i have to shift all the information from this stateful widget to the stateless widget right so i have copied the variables and the build method everything from the stateful widget towards the stateless widget as you can see stateless widget does not support any set state so we have to remove it because this is a very big threat toward performance yeah you can see it is done now let's rebuild or restart app uh, let's click on restart for the first time uh, you will see that the build time method is called one time and it will be not calling again and again because it is stateless widget so this is what i want to show you the build method is called only one time but now i'm click on it on it nothing is updating because we are not uh, using any uh, state manager so now i'm going to uh, use getx uh, basically getx provide two ways of handling data one is a reactive state management and another is proactive state management uh, in this video I'm going to use a reactive uh, for this I have to convert int into variable and tap to observable type of variable how we can convert normal variable towards observable variable we just have to put obs at the end and we have to import get method get library yeah that's it we are done we are done with doing everything tab and now let me show you how we can upgrade the UI I have uh, how to re reload 
and I'm going to click it again you can see again nothing is happening because we have converted our normal variable into observable variable in getx if you have to if you have to uh, listen toward the changes then you have to uh, wrap it with the obx widget now let's click on buttons and see yeah you can see uh, after wrapping it uh, with obx now it is workable but one thing that i have to show you is i have wrapped the whole ui with the opx this is not recommended the recommended thing is uh, the variable that is consuming by widget only that widget need to be inside obx so in that case i have wrapped the whole uh, view so i have to remove it from very root to the widget that is using the observable widget i have did intentionally because just to show you the recommended and unrecommended thing so it should be there obx this is how uh, we are working on big applications to update only and only specific widget instead of rebuilding the whole ui so this is uh, this is why state management is important it only and only rebuild the widget that is need to be rebuilded instead of rebuilding the whole ui uh, one another thing that i want to show you is if unintentionally you wrap the widget that does not support or that does not use any uh, observable widget then what will be happen suppose the row does not uh, have any observable widget it have only two buttons uh, and then I have wrapped it with OPX. Now let's check. Uh, it will give me an error. Yeah, you can see. Uh, basically, this error is because of the improper use of uh, getx. You guys can see in the warning that the improper use of a getx has been detected. So uh, the widget that <coughs> does not use any observable widget, it does not need to be wrapped with OPX. This is a recommendation. Uh, and they have enforced this is the better and the uh, good thing regarding getx uh, if you are doing anything wrong they just warn you that please don't do that it is not required that part of application right so uh, i i'm not using any set state i'm not using any stateful widget but it state i am able to update the ui so this is the main power of state management uh, guys in the next video i'm going to create a very detailed I have a very detailed video on how you can utilize state management in big applications and I will make an example on it as well. So please share and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Uh, thank you for watching.